Hi everyone, I'm Ventus, and this is going to be a follow-up video for a video I did on the other channel, the Real Life channel. So on that channel, I opened up four Elite Trainer Boxes for Hidden Fates, and because you get a, a code for every single pack in those boxes, or in general I should say, we're gonna open- ooh, they're tradable! These are probably worth a lot. I'm gonna open up 40 packs on this account as well, so you can kind of do a, a comparison. And uh, technically it's 80 booster packs, right? So double the value. Get some on that account, some on this account. So exciting. So this is a little bit strange, a little bit new, different for this account. This is the uh, video game playthrough account, the gaming account. Uh, the other one is the real life account, which is right now Pokemon pack opening. But it's not a Pokemon account. I keep saying that. It's just going to be... Uh, a real-life account, do some real-life stuff, which at the moment is just unboxing because I like to collect stuff. If you want to check it out, it's in the description below. But anyway, let's open up these packs, see what I get. So if you're not familiar with the TCG, and for most people that watch this channel, you probably aren't, uh, unless you do actually play it. Maybe you are. It's a Nintendo game after all. Hidden Fates is the newest English set. The next one comes out in a month and a half from when I'm recording this. Actually, like five, six weeks. But this set is actually really insane because there's actually two sets inside. It's kind of like this one. There's uh, the regular Hidden Fate set, and there's also the Shiny Vault, where you get a lot of shiny Pokemon. Reprints as shinies and some really cool full arts. Okay, anyway, let's take a look. Let's see what I get. Ooh, so shiny. No bold statements. Just, just open them up. It's something new, something strange, something exciting. I've opened up Hidden Fates on this account, uh, or on my online account. Oh, this is the Feels Bad one. You don't want to get this Charizard. You want the Shiny Charizard in that slot. Actually, if the Shiny Charizard appears, it actually appears in this slot, and the Rare appears in this slot. Uh, so basically, I'm opening 40 packs. I'm expecting 20 Ultra Rares or above. Okay, so this is going to be a shiny, because that's how it works. Hmm. I have both of these in real life. Yes, yeah, it's about a 50% rate of getting ultra rare or higher in the set. So that's not an ultra rare, that's a regular rare. But it's a Jolteon. Jolteon's cool. So we're at what, three? I gotta keep track, because I can't actually see it. Uh, if I go through the, the packs or the, the cards that I have on this account, it's not going to show everything. So I've gotten, what, Charizard, Shiny Poiple, and uh, Pincers? That's three. I'm going to actually write this down, probably. Or, or I'll try to keep track of it, I guess. So three so far, still. And hopefully I get more than the other account. I won't say how many I got. Okay, this is a Shiny. So I'm at four. Oh, Riolu! I don't have that in real life. Unfortunate. Four. That's a reverse hollow, so this is a regular rare. Still four. It's a counting game. That's a reverse hollow, regular rare, or a GX. But basically, when the reverse hollow appears, it means that this thing's going to be from the regular Hidden Fate set. Four. Still four? Oh, this is really bad luck. Hmm. That's a rare. No, that's a rare. Wait, I didn't click that. Oh, it's not it's not a, a rare reverse hollow, right, that's why. Okay, it's still at four. Wow, this is super feels bad. I think... I'll, I'll say it after. Okay, Shiny, this is 5 now. Nice, Shiny goes Lord. I think the way it works in, uh, in real life is... If you're not familiar with it, I'll keep saying that. If, you know, because some of the people who watch this might be just randomly watching it. Uh, if you're... If you buy a real pack... Generally speaking, it's very consistent, but for these online ones, it's not as consistent. So we're at five. 
No, it's going to be six. Pseudo Udo. Because these ones just have like a, I don't know, a set percentage rather than like a more consistent percentage within each product. Still, still five? Feels bad. It's like a Fire Emblem Hero Summon. Feels bad. Okay, so this is six. Oh, Whooper! This one's so cute. Look at that. It's so adorable. Whooper. Whooper, whooper, whooper. So six. How many left? I'll check after. Still six. So six out of 14. That's pretty bad. That's almost 50% though. So it seems like the, the consistency is still almost there. You could actually get a double. So you get like a GX here and then... Oh, that's a beautiful one. So that's 7. 7 out of 15. It's still, it's close to 50%. But I want to get more than 50%. That's a regular one. Okay, so now I'm down to... What is that? 7 out of 16. Feels bad. Jolteon again. I don't think there's a shiny Jolteon in this set. There's, there's every other evolution, I think. I could be wrong. Oh, okay, that's a good one. That's a, that's a full art. So that's 8. Not bad. But still under 50. Wait, these are three uncommons. So does that mean this is going to be a, a rare? And this is a shiny. So nine. Froki. That's another cute one. Nine. Will I recover? I wonder. So I guess if you see three uncommons here, this will be a rare? Oh, yes, Raichu. So this is this is a double one. This is supposed to be at eleven. It's an ugly tree. So eleven out of twenty. That's more than fifty percent now. So I did recover. I see. So the consistency is still the same. Oh wow. Okay. I mean theoretically. Okay, yeah, that's a dud. So as long as you get three uncommons and well, actually, I don't think that's actually the case. I haven't really been paying attention though. But that was a dud pack. Uncommon, 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 rare? Okay. And then shiny, so I'm at 12 now. Magnemite. That's a dud, or a GX. Still, uh, still 12? Oh, nice. Full art birds. I have the rainbow rare on, on this account already, though. So that's 13. Brock's training. This card. I don't actually have this card in real life. Which is really stupid because I have so many rares. Okay, that's just trolling me. Are you kidding me? I still need this card. So, what, 13 still? How many left? Okay, that's gonna fail. 13, 14 left, so I can still get 20 for that 50% if it's one per pack. Or 50%, one every other pack. GX? Nope. It's a cute Mew though. Come on. Okay, uncommon, 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 rare! Another cute Mew and a shiny Inkay with an angry face. I love that face. So that's 14, I think. I hope, I hope I'm counting right. Should be 14. GX? Nope. But that's a shiny. Ooh, Zygarde GX, shiny, 15. So I think I will hit that 50% mark. 
Okay, that that's a dud. Fifteen. GX. Fifteen. I wish I could do this fast in real life. Oh, nice! That's the first uh, hollow energy. But this is GX? No. <sighs> 15. Reverse hollow energy is not a ultra rare plus. It's a viper rare. I mean, uh, shiny. That's 16. I didn't know this existed. I've never seen it before. 16. Oh, the Gravelers, though. Golem? Wow. I'm good at this. In, in uh, On this channel. Uh, 16. Still 16. Seventeen. Okay. Beldum. Dumbbell. Oh, here we go again. GX? Nope. But this is seventeen. Buzzwall. Three left. I can still get that fifty percent. There you go. This is Starmie. Uh eighteen? Okay. Reverse Hollow Mew. GX? Nope. So 18. Oh wow, this is bad. Oh, Decidueye! That's beautiful! 19. This is the last one, I think. That's a Reverse Hollow. So this has to be a GX to hit 50%. Wow. So 19. 19 ultra rare or above. Huh. That's pretty bad. The pin collection and uh, the tins, they were all f above 50% when I pulled for them. But the ETBs and the online packs were not. That's kind of disgusting. Let's... I mean, if you're not familiar with Pokemon TCG... Like, packs don't usually come like that. Like, let's open up a Shining Legends. This is the other kind of shiny set. There's only usually just one rare, but the other one can have two rares. Shiny Volcania. That's kind of funny, because I don't actually have this in real life. Which is super troll. This game is super trolling me. It always gives me the cards I don't have. Like, this set has treated me... It treated me really well in the beginning, and then... Like, the last, I don't know, 30 packs? I've gotten all duplicates. Which is a disgusting feeling. Generations. This one is a, a double set. This is still my favorite. I think. I've never opened Generations on uh, on this account. So you can get like a, a Sylveon plus Leafeon or something. I'm good at this. Okay, well. Sylveon I think is the most common. Uh, well, I find it to be the most common, but obviously that's not the case. It can't be like that. I don't think. Especially online. Maybe in real life prints. Uh, so this is this is a dud. So there's something called a, a radiant the radiant collection in this. This is this is not radiant collection, is it? Is it? it? It is, okay. So two radiant collection, that's all you get. This is the secondary set. And then this will be a regular card. It's a gang card, cool. Let's see the beautiful stuff. It's radiant and shiny and stuff. Okay. Uh, so yeah, that is the follow-up video for the real-life Hidden Fates ETB pulls, 40 boosters. Which side do you think did better? I, I think I know which side did better, but you, you can check it out. Check it out in the description below, and then compare it with this one. I'll probably do this for future stuff as well, just because if you get the codes, then like, why not, right? But then if I get like a, a really good card, I usually give out the codes. Like if I pull a Charizard. For this set, it's kind of strange. 
If I get a Charizard, I'll give up codes. If not, I won't. So I'll actually have fewer codes if I do get something nice. Uh, fewer codes for the online booster packs. And for regular sets, like the next one coming out, Cosmic Eclipse, whenever I get a GX, I'll, I'll just give it away. So there will be fewer packs for sure online compared to in real life. But uh, yeah, that will be it then for this video. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you next time for, uh, I don't even know. Channels are merging. Weird stuff is happening. All right, have a nice day. Mm -hmm.